Welcome to City Speed View. Welcome to Milan, Italy. Welcome to our journey through the historical town of Milan in northern Italy. The ruins of the crypt named San Giovanni in Conca of the former Basilica Church of Milan date from the 4th century and were located in a residential quarter of the ancient city. The 1.3 million people of Milan are rounded by ancient buildings from the Romans' time and earlier. The streets in the city split off to small squares, small parks and an oasis of silence and relaxing appearing all over in the middle of the town. This one is at the Piazza Diaz. The Monumento ai Carabinieri was created by Luciano Minguzzi in 1980 to honor the Carabinieri fallen in duty. Milan is a leading global city with strength in the art, commerce, design, education, entertainment, fashion, finance, healthcare, research and tourism. The business district hosts the Italy Stock Exchange and the headquarters of the largest national and international banks. Celtic in Subris founded Milan around 600 before Christ. In 286, the capital of the Western Roman Empire has been moved by Diocletian from Rome to Mediolanum. But he chooses to reside at Nicomedia in the Eastern Empire. His colleague Maximian was supposed to stay in Milan. Today, modern skyscrapers grow between the ancient buildings. We get another view of the crypt of San Giovanni in Conca. The Monumento a Giuseppe Missori remembers the same named soldier who fought in the battles of the Italian reunification. The statue is different in showing a tired looking horse and got the nickname Tired Horse Statue.
Torre Velasca or Velasca Tower is an extraordinary architectural building that was built in the 1950s. Its designers were Gianluigi Banfi, Ludovico Barbiano di Belgioioso, Enrico Peresuti, and Ernesto Nathan Rogers. The Velasca Tower is part of the first generation of Italian modern architecture. It is 100 meters tall and has a peculiar and characteristic mushroom-like shape. The tower's mixed function allows a commercial use in the lower floors, whereas the upper floors keep residential units. In 2011, the tower was placed under protection as a historic building. We are reaching Milan's most known historical place, the Milan Cathedral. The cathedral is dedicated to St. Mary of the Nativity and the seat of the Archbishop of Milan. The Gothic Cathedral took nearly six centuries to complete and is the largest church in Italy, even larger than the St. Peter's Basilica in the state of Vatican City and the third largest in the world. Next to the cathedral is the Royal Palace of Milan. The palace was the seat of the government of the Italian city of Milan for many centuries. Today the palace is a cultural center and home to expositions and exhibitions. The building was supposed to have the size of two courtyards, but was reduced to make space for the cathedral. The building follows the style of the ancient courtyard. Since 1386, the construction of the Milan Cathedral faced many changes by different architects. The last gate was inaugurated on January 6, 1965. This date marks the very end of the construction process, which happened over decades. But still some uncarved blocks remain to be completed. With a last view over Milan Cathedral and the historic downtown, our trip through Milan ends. For today, it's time to say goodbye. Our journey continues in Frankfurt on the Main, Germany.